Hey guys, this time on Infinite Builds, we are going to build a free little library. For those of you who don't know, a free little library is where people can borrow, share, and donate their book with each other for free. This one I built for Stevenson College, UC Santa Cruz. It is located on the back of Stevenson Knoll. Follow me and I'll show you how to build one from scratch. First, I cut a 4x8 sheet of plywood into half. If you wonder how I got this plywood sheet into my garage, I actually rented a truck from Home Depot and drove it to my place. Then I make some rough cuts to create smaller segments. I use the Craig circular saw track to help me get straight cuts on the plywood. Make sure to have some insulation padding to create space between your saw and the ground. After breaking down the plywood sheet, I use a table saw to cut the plywood into individual parts. Make sure to be extra careful when you are using the table saw because it is very dangerous and always use a push stick when you are cutting thin pieces of wood. Here, you can see me test fitting other parts that I just cut. Now we are going to mark a line on the side of the pack panel. We are going to cut the upper portion of this line using a table saw. Time to glue these pieces together. I'm using Type Bond 3 because of its waterproof feature. This step is optional, but you could also strengthen these bond using a brad nail gun. I measure and attach two shelf support on each side of my shelf. Then I use an app on my phone to level the shelf. After installing the shell, I apply some latex silicone sealant to prevent water from leaking in.
Once I'm done with the interior, I add some trims on the front of the library. Next, I'm going to make the door for the library by assembling the frame and cutting the polycarbonate sheets. To make the standing post, you're going to need one piece of 2x4 and a 4x4 cut into 3 pieces. Your standing post should look like this. Before gluing the polycarbonate sheet onto the door frame, I paint the main compartment in the door frame using one coat of primer and two coats of paint. I got exterior paint and primer from Sherwin Williams and they provide excellent waterproof to the project. I use painter tape to block out the area where I don't want the paint to be on. After the paint dried out, I used two-part epoxy glue to attach the polycarbonate sheet to the door frame. Then I used two hinges to attach the door frame to the main compartment. Then I used a Forstner bit to drill some slots to insert magnets onto the compartment in the door. Most little free library you see in the neighborhoods have latches, but I want to use magnets as like a modern feature for my little free library. To assemble the standing post, you're going to need four screw on each side of the post, like in the picture. The process of installing the library is pretty complicated, so some of the school carpenter helped me out. We started out by digging a hole on the ground. Then we start mixing concrete with water.
Thank you for watching. I will put the free build plan in the description of the video. If you have any question or comment, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to share your favorite book at your own free little library.